Let's keep it going. Next up, we have Jackie Price. Jackie Price is the Senior Vice President of Sales at National Real Estate Insurance Group with over eight years of experience insuring properties across the nation. She focuses on building relationships with both clients and underwriters, providing solutions to the industry with a positive experience. So Jackie, the floor is yours for about the next 20 minutes. We're excited to have you here today and I'm excited to see what you have to say. Thank you, Haley. I appreciate that. So I, like you guys, loved watching Ian's after photos. That property that he did was beautiful, um, great work, and that was amazing. So what I want to talk to you guys about today is how to ensure those investment property locations that you have, whether you are doing fix and flips or if you are buying and holding and leasing those out to tenants whatever your investment strategy is, we want to be, we want to help you learn how to ensure those investment properties in a way that you can tailor the coverage to fit your needs. So that's really what National Real Estate Insurance Group is all about. We are located in Kansas City, Missouri, but we do offer insurance for real estate investors across the country. And we always strive to be the insurance solution for real estate investors. And so that is what we want to talk about today. Our main focus on insuring your real estate investment properties is about tailoring the coverage to fit your needs. There's what last I saw 60 different people watching this, this episode, this webinar, um, you probably have 60 different investment strategies. And so there's no one size fits all when it comes to real estate insurance, just like there's no one size fits all solution to managing your real estate portfolio. So that's what National Real Estate Insurance Group is here to do. We have a monthly reporting program specialized for real estate properties that can insure residential properties with one to 20 units on a monthly reporting schedule. What that means is basically you come in, you bring us all of the properties that you currently own or that you want us to look at insuring. We can put them on one monthly schedule for you. That means you pay as you go. There's no minimum earned premiums. There's no um, having to cancel this policy when the renovation is done and writing a new policy when you lease it out to a tenant having to worry about getting money back from your old policy and putting it on your new policy, um, having uh, different effective dates across the year, wondering, making sure that this location has the insurance renewal taken care of this month, but this one is in three months. We take all of that out of the equation. So it's a month to month insurance program where we can insure all of your investment properties on one schedule and we can do it through any phase of occupancy. We can do vacant locations, we can do occupied, renovation, new construction, we can do it all. And so that is really what we strive to do. What I want to talk about today is ways for you to tailor your investment um, portfolio insurance at, in a way that fits your needs. So like I said, not everyone's um, not everyone's strategy is the same. And so that's what we do is we want to educate our clients, make sure that they have the coverage to fit their needs. So there are two main forms of property coverage, basic and special form. We offer them both. And, base, and really the difference is the coverage that you're getting between basic form and special form. Basic form means that anything that's listed on the policy is what's covered. Anything that's not listed is not covered on your policy. The main pieces, the main perils that are insured on your on your policy with basic form are listed here. Fire, lightning, explosion, wind and hail, smoke, volcanic action, riot, um, sprinkler leakage, vandalism. Those are all basically things that are covered on every insurance policy with, um, with basic form. So this is, this is what you would get if you were to go with a basic form policy. The other things that you could get if you were to choose special form coverage would be these on the right hand side. So falling objects, weight of ice, sleet and snow, water damage, collapse, theft, risk of direct physical loss. So it depends on where you're investing as to whether or not weight of snow, ice or sleet is a concern to you. Um, we are getting some snow here today in Missouri. And so, um, but you know, of course, the further up you go, probably the more you're concerned about the weight of the snow and the ice on, on the rooftops down in Texas, you're probably not as, as concerned with that. So it really depends on where you're investing. If, 
as whether or not that is an, an issue for you. We advise our clients that there are two main coverages that you get with special form that you don't get with basic form, and that's really the deciding factor. Um, that would be theft and water damage. So, and remember, this is theft from an investment property. So it's not them coming in and taking your personal um, clothing, jewelry, TVs, cap, you know, furniture. This is the investment property. So whether or not you're concerned with theft on an investment property is up to you. And then water damage also. So this isn't flood insurance. We'll talk about that in a bit. Um, and it's not a slow leak over time from the fridge line or um, some pipe that is leaking over time. That's that's more of a maintenance issue. This is a sudden and incidental water damage occurrence. So that could be um, a burst pipe in the winter time or just the pipe gives out and, and bursts suddenly. Um, that is that's the two main differences, theft and water damage. So if you are willing to self-insure against both of those, you say, hey, if either one of those happened to me, um, I could probably pay to fix everything on my own. You're looking to be able to save around 20 to 25 percent on your insurance premiums. So if you think about it, especially the larger portfolio that you have, the more you save on a monthly basis for your real estate insurance could add up over time to where if you do have one theft loss in a year's time, you may have saved that much money plus some on um, on your insurance cost month over month. And so it could really pay off in the long run. So that's something that we encourage our clients to think about. If you are someone who wants to make sure that it, whatever happens is covered, then you want special form, you know, and that is your investment strategy. But if you are willing to self-insure a little bit and have the chance to um, maybe have to pay out of pocket for some risk and you're willing to take that on, then you may want to save some money. The other thing um, that you can do with your property insurance would be replacement costs versus actual cash value. Are you wanting to get that second claim check if a loss were to occur to take you back to um, where you were before the loss? Or do you think that you could either pay to fix all of the damage with the actual cash value settlement check and go on from there? Or or do you also think that maybe if the property were to burn down, you would pay the demo exposure and then get out and go down the street and buy another property? If the latter two sound like something that you might be able to do, you could probably, again, save 20 to 25% on your insurance costs month over month and carry actual cash value coverage. So that's something else for you to consider. No matter who your insurance carrier is, what your property insurance should should be. So just to go over a quick claims example, I don't have a I have a little bit of time today. Um, let's just say there was a fire and it was a thirty thousand dollar loss, and right off the top of any loss, the adjuster is going to take off the depreciation. And so in this instance, we took forty percent off for a $12,000 depreciation. Your deductible is a nice round $3,000 so that we can make it an easy example. So the payout that you are going to get from a loss, from your first loss settlement, no matter what coverage you have, actual cash value or replacement cost, you're gonna get $15,000. Now keep in mind, a lot of carriers and a lot of just adjusters inflate the loss estimate a little bit to provide some extra cushion in there for insureds to be able to replace what was damaged in the loss. But also we know that a lot of real estate investors don't use, um, don't pay market prices to rebuild or repair their properties. So whether you have your own construction staff or you have a really good agreement with the the GC down the street and maybe you are able to get a discount on your materials um, at the at the hardware store. We know that you're probably not paying market pricing. And so a lot of our investors, probably 60 percent of them, find that they can repair the property exactly the way it was before with that fifteen thousand dollar payout. So they choose actual cash value coverage because they don't need the depreciation check. Now, let's say you do. Let's say you do need you do want to insure a replacement cost and um, you do want to go be able to go back and recover that depreciation. You get the fifteen thousand dollars. You do as many repairs as possible with that fifteen thousand dollars. And then anything over and above that, you make the repairs out of pocket. You Then you submit receipts and you can reimburse get reimbursed by the insurance carrier for the money that you spent 
up to $12,000 to repair. So um, it doesn't it doesn't say that, okay, you're going to automatically get a check for $12,000, but it does say you can get up to $12,000 on, on depreciation whenever um, you do come back. Okay. So the next thing, okay, there we go. Um, the next thing we want to talk about really quick is coinsurance. This is something that we strive to tell all, all of our clients to avoid at all costs. So our policies start to where we do not have coinsurance on any of our coverage starting at $50 a square foot. So at $50 a square foot, you can get actual cash value coverage without coinsurance. And at $70 a square foot, you can get replacement cost coverage without co-insurance across the country. We've we've been able to negotiate that with our carriers year after year. And so that's where NRAC has our thresholds. But what does co-insurance mean? If you have 80% co-insurance on your policy, which most commercial insurance policies do, so you may want to go check your deck pages. Um, if you do have co-insurance on your policy, the adjuster is going to come out at the time of the loss and say, it would have cost this much money to rebuild this house. So we're going to just say $100,000 to make numbers nice and easy. So with 80% coinsurance, that means you have to have the property insured to at least 80% of the cost to rebuild it at the time of the loss. So if the adjuster comes out and says, okay, it'll cost $100,000 to rebuild this house in today's terms, you have to have the property insured to at least $80,000 in order for the carrier to determine that you are adequately insured. If you're not, if you're insured at $75,000 or $60,000, the further under that 80% threshold, the higher that the carrier can take out in a co-insurance penalty on your claim settlement. So go back to the claims example I gave you earlier, and that $15,000 becomes $12,000 or $10,000 because you're underinsured and therefore they're able to assess a co-insurance penalty on your claim payout. No one wants that. The last thing you want when um, you have a loss is to be told you're underinsured and your claim payout isn't what you were expecting. So that is why NRAG has done everything we can to take co-insurance out of the equation. We do have some add-on coverages that are available that you would maybe want to look at with any insurance carrier. Um, flood coverage, this is ground or surface water. So this would be, you know, the properties by a river or a creek and, and you know, the water rises, of course, but it's also, think about hurricane, um, hurricane season for anyone who has properties on the coast. So the storm comes through, blows off the roof, blows through the windows. That is covered under, under your name, windstorm coverage, but the storm surge isn't. The storm surge is flood coverage. So if you are on the have properties on the coast and you are worried about storm surge, should a hurricane come into that area, you want to make sure you have flood coverage. Um, there's earth move. We have earth movement insurance, which is like earthquake insurance, but it, our coverage is earthquake shock plus sinkhole. We have terrorism coverage that we add on to investment properties for about a dollar a month. It's very affordable. You can choose to take it off, but um, this would just be if the property was affected in any way due to terrorism. There is ordinance or law, which we consider to be, we call it the bring it to code coverage, meaning let's say you have an apartment building and one unit has a fire, but before anyone can occupy any of the other units, you have to put in more smoke detectors. So your normal um, property and liability policy is only going to take you back to where you were before. If you have to put in a sprinkler system or smoke detectors or um, exit um, signs, that is where ordinance or law coverage would come into because due to an ordinance, you are having to change something and spend more money. And so then that is where that coverage would come in. There's also equipment breakdown for your AC unit, your water heaters, your boiler system. So that is something that you can add on as well for a very minimal cost. So that is how we um, talk to our clients about how they can tailor proper property coverage to fit their needs. Liability coverage is not quite so able to be, you know, it, it's more here's what it is than able to be tailored, but it is very important to say a few things about liability coverage. Um, in reg, offers $1 million per occurrence with a $2 million annual aggregate on every location that is insured with us. And every location has des 
designated limits per location. So what does that mean? You have 10 investment properties and your broker decide, tells you that you can put all 10 on this policy and save money. That's really great, but you need to go back to your declarations page and see are your liability limits per location or are they per policy? Because you do not want all 10 of those locations sharing a $2 million aggregate limit, especially if they're multi-units. Um, we also always caution people to make sure that your defense costs are outside of these limits, not inside of these limits, because, you know, should a claim happen, uh, a liability loss happen, and there's a lot of back and forth and there's a lot of legal fees, you don't want the legal fees to come out of your, your settlement. So we recommend starting at a million dollars. I know some carriers will start at 300000 which just doesn't seem like enough right now. So that is something that we caution our, our clients about. Um, the other thing is we say, and I'm very, very passionate about this, is carry liability coverage on every single piece of property you have, whether it's a vacant piece of land, whether it's a building you don't really know what you're going to do with. You don't have to carry property coverage on every single location, but you should carry liability coverage because you never know who's going to be on the property when they shouldn't be. They're going to trip and fall and you're going to get a lawsuit in your hands that you weren't expecting that can be very detrimental to your business if you do not have liability coverage and a carrier to back you up on that. Okay, I have like two more minutes, but I will be available on the chat as well. And then I have a way in a minute for you guys to talk to my team. The last thing I want to talk about is our tenant protector plan. This is something that has only, we've only had for a couple of years and we've just made some enhancements to it, but it is our alternative to renter's insurance. So you can purchase liability insurance on your renter's behalf. That way you don't have to make sure that they keep their policies in force or that they their policies don't cancel for non-payment. You don't have to worry about going around and getting certificates of insurance at every annual renewal from your renters. And it really seems to um, have our investor clients just feel a little bit more relaxed about their tenants. So we do offer now either $60,000 or $100,000 of liability coverage. There's some coverage in there for for contents, there's some coverage for unaffected units should a fire break out and other tenants lose some of their belongings. And there's also $1,000 for skip rent coverage. So if someone does vacate the premises in the, during an active lease, whether it's through an eviction, a military deployment, an untimely death, or they just get up and leave, um, we would pay you up to $1,000 in skipped rent that they didn't pay you before before they took off. So that is something that my team can talk to you more about. So here is what I'm asking. So nreg.com slash invested dash advisors or agents, sorry, <laughs> it's on the screen and I'll put it in the chat. Um, nreg.com slash invested agents. We, if you go here, you can, um, it's a landing page that talks a little bit about us. You put in your name and your email and we'll send you some information. You can talk to one of my sales agents, but also anyone who registers today on this website will put you in for a drawing for an Amazon Echo Dot. So that's pretty exciting. If you want to go in, put your name in, we'll put you in for the drawing and we'll get that shipped out next week. But if you want to talk to, to me, I'll be on the chats. If you want to talk to one of my sales agents, go in here and request a proposal. Um, this was pretty short, but there's a lot we can do. Thank you, Jackie. Um, just taking 60 seconds. Um, we really appreciate working with y'all because um, as lots of properties coming in and out of our portfolio, makes it seamless um, uh, get, getting them in. And we don't have to worry about like when we're getting a policy and like all of a sudden like 30 or three or six months is immediately vested. Like we, we can just do it on a month to month basis. That, that's been very valuable for us. One quick question, uh, short term rental coverage this is for like airbnb vrbo those kind of things um do you have policies that cover that we do so we can actually place those with our typical carrier so it's not hard for us at all awesome well thank you so much so yeah if anyone um for information on that just go to um nreig.com slash invested dash agents put that in the comments and uh, appreciate appreciate everything, Jackie. Thank you.